Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And just this morning, I posted a video on how to edit some of these in your toolbar and eliminate some of them that you don't ever use if you're a laser engraver that, or that I don't use. You can more than welcome to put them back. And, but, and we also made the icons bigger so you can see them better. But there's four items up here I never use. This is my laser bed size. I never change it. You know, it's 40 by 28. I don't really need this custom but we're going to leave it up there. So what you do is you just hit that plus sign and take away the portrait, landscape, default page, and current page. And your other things are your unit, which are inches, the uh, duplicate distance, and treat all objects as field. So there, so there you've gotten rid of some of those. Uh, you know, there might be some items up here you don't ever use. Let's see and they all change. I never publish that to a PDF. So I'm going to try this. I, I don't know if this is going to work. I'm going to left click it. Toolbar item and delete. So there I got rid of an item up in this toolbar I don't need. I think the last thing, the last things you do that you have up here, I never export anything. I'm going to leave it up there. You know, I never, um, well, there's paste. I never use these. You know, that's copy and cut, print, print I use. You know, so I'm going to leave those. But, you know, some of these items I don't ever use. You know, this is to turn your rulers on and off. This is a pretty neat deal to turn your indexing lines on and off. You know, you can turn on grids if you have any thing you need that for. Your snap tool, tool is right here, which is pretty important. I don't use Corel paint, but maybe once or twice a year when I'm trying to get a picture to engrave. Anyway, go through here and just kind of play with this. If you mess up, you know, there's videos out there how to get all this stuff back. You know, you could uh, probably even go here and reset the toolbar. That would work. But if you even go further, you know, you can always shut Corel down, hold down the F8 key and, and restart Corel and it'll reset everything to default. You know, there's, a, there's some things up there I never use. Anyway, hope that helped a little bit and thank you for watching.